So you want to start selling physical products like shirts or hoodies or stickers or hats or swag. But of course, it's a massive pain to actually like, you know, create and manufacture and then package and then address packages and then ship and go to the post office. Which is why awesome services like Printful exist. Drop shipping, print on demand stuff. In this video, I am going to walk you through everything you need to know in order to set up shop, create some products for free, get started drop shipping, print on demand, so you can sell sweet swag. So here's a 20 second overview of how the entire process works. Number one, you create an account on Printful. It's absolutely free. I have my link in the description below. It is my affiliate link that'll tell them that Pete sent you there. You'll enter in your account details, uh, shipping methods. You'll give them a, a, car, a credit card so they can bill you for the products you end up selling. And then you create your product. You upload your designs, you, you know, choose your hats and t-shirts or whatever it is you're gonna be selling. And then lastly, really you connect Printful to your e-commerce site, whether it's Shopify, Etsy, Gumroad, WooCommerce on WordPress. There's a million different things that they integrate with that you're going to use to sell your products. And then only two steps remaining, a customer buys from your store and you get that gross revenue, right? And then Printful will receive the order and then do everything else. They'll charge you for the cost of the item and then they'll package it and fulfill it and ship it and all that good stuff for you. There you go. So let me just walk you through this step by step. You will create your account first. Obviously, I already have one, so I won't be going through this entire thing, but it's insanely easy. You'll sign up, you'll enter in your basic info, your name, your email, your address, that sort of stuff. And they'll probably ask you to connect a store, but you can actually do that later as well. You, this is my dashboard and Printful stores, meaning here's my Etsy shop. I used to sell on Gumroad. I've actually been using Printful for about four or five years with uh, different providers, but I actually just switched to Etsy literally a couple of weeks ago. And so that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. But anyways, some of the other things you'll want to set up in your account, other than your basic details, is actually your shipping preferences. You click on here, settings, storage. You can always change this later after you create your initial account. You can come back and edit this stuff at any time, of course. You go down to shipping, you'll choose uh, you know, whichever store you're gonna be updating here and update your shipping preferences. That's actually really important. And of course, you will want to set up a payment method. I believe that's under stores. You just click on that and then you come down. Yeah, you, you set up your, your billing settings so they can charge you for products. All right, so I'm gonna create a product on Printful right now from scratch and then connect it to Etsy. We can pretend this was my absolute first product, right? So for this example, I created like a little fun design. I like big blogs and I cannot lie. I am going to export this. And one thing I want to know, if you're doing your own custom designs like this, they're actually pretty forgiving in terms of exact dimensions or whatnot, but it's worth noting that you can create a product like we're gonna do in a second, find whatever product you're looking for. Let's say we're doing custom underwear here. This is funny. They will have a link where you can get product info, pricing, and guidelines. And you can actually download a little uh, print file template right here. You can download this print file inside label on the legs. This will be different for every product. So what you see will be different than what I'm looking at right here. But just know, once you actually come into creating a product, you can get more info on the design, right? What size you need to make it, your exports and stuff like that. In my example, I am exporting this, just the design with a transparent background, as you can see right here. And it just popped out. So I'm gonna upload this to a brand new t-shirt. So there are actually a few ways to add designs to create products. You can do it from stores. If you click stores, and if you've already started a store or connected a store via your third party platform, you can actually click in here and click like add product. We're gonna come back and talk about stores in just a second. I actually recommend doing it from product templates. This makes it a lot easier if you wanna offer a shirt in multiple sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, different colors, that sort of stuff. It makes it really easy to duplicate products in different sizes and all sorts of things. So I recommend going to product templates and then creating a new one right here. Yours will probably be blank. As you can see, I already have some. So I think I actually might do a, uh, a hoodie. Let's go with hoodies. I'm just gonna choose one. Obviously they show you the basic pricing starting from XYZ dollars and it cost a few more bucks to upload your own custom designs, whether it's printed or embroidered. There's lots of different options, but they walk you through 
they walk you through everything. It's pretty self-explanatory. I am just going to choose some of the best sellers. Um, you can look in here more details, but I'm just going to choose this one for now. Again, this is kind of up to you. They make them with different, honestly, different qualities, different materials, all sorts of stuff you can choose from. So right off the bat, I'm actually going to upload my custom design. Close that out. I'm going to grab this. Again, this is a PNG with a transparent background, but you can also do, I believe, even PDFs. You could probably even do JPEGs. Again, if you want more details on that, I'm going to suggest you go look at product info. But like I said earlier, it's actually fairly forgiving. So I didn't actually measure much out when I exported this thing. I just kind of exported it at a really high resolution. It was like 5,000 pixels wide. Of course, you can't see anything because the print is black and the sweatshirt is black. But if I choose this, there we go. That's better. It's actually pretty forgiving. Now, it will have a print area, as you can see, if you just click and drag over here. You want to make sure that you're falling within that. It'll give you an error if you are not, by the way, like this. It'll actually cut off. You can't see it. And, of course, you can click to resize. You can make bigger. It's going to tell me, like, oh, you don't want to do that. Part of your design is outside the print area. So I'm actually going to make it a little smaller, like this. It looks like that. Now, it's still giving me the same error, but this part of the design is blank right? Like I had blank space in my image that I uploaded, but this is okay. I can see that everything I'm going to print is within the boundaries and boom, I'm good to go. Now I'm actually going to just briefly walk through this. You can click here to choose a file, another image to upload. You can add text yourself. You could add this text right here. I like big blogs and uh, it gives you that. You can also change the font. You can transform it into different positions you can add an outline, you can add shadow, you can change the color of the text. You can do a bunch of stuff from like right here. I am not gonna do that because I did my custom design, but if you're just doing simple text, you might just do that. I'm actually gonna click the X to remove that one little thing. You can also use premium images and clip art. You can do lots of pre-made stuff. I think they're all pretty self-explanatory. Some of these are quite ugly. I usually design my own, but of course you can pick and choose to make cool stuff here. One thing I'll do for this hoodie is add a sleeve. I really like putting things on the sleeve, so I'm actually going to put my logo on there. And it's worth noting when I click choose file, you can store a bunch of files like your logos or anything like that in Printful. So all of these are designs I've uploaded in the past and you can actually manage these from your dashboard. It's called the file library. But for now, I will just choose my logo. I wanna make sure to grab the highest resolution one. It's like 900 pixels by 900 pixels. That should be fine. I'm gonna upload that and see how this looks. Well, I guess I will choose place here. It'll put it on there. And again, you can move around, you can resize as necessary. It looks like the print area is pretty slim for the sleeves, but I'm gonna put it up here, maybe like a tad bit smaller. There you go. I don't actually think this logo looks good in this example, but whatever. A few things you can do here. Obviously they have the grid on and off, but when you drag it, it's gonna enable that anyways. You can click here to zoom in and or zoom out. Click here to copy this on the left sleeve. And actually you can do that on a few of these different options right here. You'll also note that that's adding an extra six bucks per sweatshirt just from printing on the sleeve. So the front was included in the price of the sweatshirt, but the right sleeve was not. So that adds a little bit extra to the cost. And you can see down here, it's giving me 32 to $34, probably depending on the sizes right now. And if I took the sleeve off, which I'll do right here, it's 26 to $27. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna come back over here to product and I'm gonna select all the colors that I think I might be using. There are usually a lot more color examples. This particular sweatshirt that I chose only has a few. So I'm gonna leave it at white. I'm just gonna do gray, actually, just gray. Although you could do multiple options here. Actually white and gray, just for our example. Cool, so I will hit continue down here. And I can name this template. I'm gonna say this is Big Blogs Template Hoodie, something like that. Sizes, I'm gonna add some sizes right here. I'm gonna actually just select all sizes, small all the way up to 2XL for my template. Save product template, done and done. So there's a few things you can do from here. Number one, we can add it to store, which we'll talk about in a second. You can also just view it from here. It'll show you kind of what you did. You can also download the mockups from this screen, but I believe you can also click over here and download the mockups. That would be the these things, right? These are mockup images. You can choose men's mockups, women's mockups. You can choose JPEG or PNG. JPEGs are obviously smaller file sizes. There's a bunch of other things. Halloween mockups, men's lifestyle, 
There's a ton. If you do this and you click generate mockups, it will give you a zip file to download. You can download it to your computer. This is where if you're using like a Gumroad or something like that, you can upload these product images to Gumroad. You can see this is download mockups now. I will download these. I'm just gonna save them to my downloads folder. It will be a zip file, which I can open. And there we go. And here are my mockups. I did JPEG, so there's a white background. There you go. Now, some stores, let's actually move on to talking about stores for a second here. So if you've created your account on Printful, you put in a little bit of settings, you created your first product or your, your product template, you're actually ready for an order now. You could put one in manually if you wanted to, if you have like one customer and you want to send a one-off order, or if you want to send a sample order to yourself, like all the swag that I have right here, just to make sure it's of the highest quality possible, you can do that right now. But the next step is obviously connecting your store, your e-com site, your e-com store, whatever that is. So if you actually go to Printful and go at the very top, you'll see integrations. And actually I would suggest you go check out the platform comparisons. It shows you everything they integrate with and there's a ton. Some of these take longer than others, others though, excuse me. I used Gumroad for years and years and years, but the products would not automatically push to my Gumroad store. Meaning when I created a new product in Printful, it wouldn't automatically push. I'd have to go create the product in Gumroad. Now, uh, literally just a week or two ago, I swapped over to Etsy. I've actually already got uh, my first sale, by the way, I'm really excited about. And it was absolutely just incredibly easy. <laughs> the products automatically pushed to the store. That's like one click of a button, which I'll show you here on Etsy. And it like synced all my products and the orders and stores. And I could change my, you know, product prices and settings from there. It is really, really easy and simple. Again, go here, printful.com slash integrations. If you kind of want to, you know, check out what store to start, I'm not going to do a full tutorial on each individual marketplace, but Shopify, Etsy, Amazon, WooCommerce, obviously probably those are the big ones. All right. So with that said, I'm going to show you how to sync that product I just created. Actually, quick aside, you can click learn more for whatever platform you're going to be using and they will have step-by-step -step instructions, right? Like I'm not gonna do that in this video, but if you're using Shopify, go over here. It tells you all about it. They even have a video that walks you through every step of the process. You'll get the Printful app. For Shopify, you'll be on your way, right? Like just go there, it'll walk you through everything step-by-step. -step. So if you head in your dashboard to stores, you can see the ones you've already connected up here and to choose a new one or connect a new one, you just click choose platform. You can also do these via API, but that's more advanced for sure. It's also worth noting that when you hit connect for any of these, they'll show you more instructions. Handy, right? Again, even with a video right here for Etsy. So the first thing you'll do is actually connect. You'll click this button. You'll probably open up a new tab and then it'll connect to your Etsy account. You can see it opened up Etsy. I click allow access and that's pretty much it. <laughs> you actually go down to these instructions that says you have to upload print files to Etsy. Well, you don't actually have to do this. If you skip down here, it says you can also create new products directly from Printful. Again, we already did that. And then sync it to your store. That's it. Now we're done. <laughs> if you did Shopify, it would be sort of the same sort of thing because you can push, quote unquote, products to your stores directly from here. Add product, right? We already created the templates that we can use and reuse as needed. There's the one we just created. By the way, there's that file library, file library, excuse me, where you can upload logos and stuff you wanna use and reuse. So I'm gonna go to stores. Uh, I'm gonna click in here. You could click add product right from there, but I'm gonna click in here and you can see what I've already done here. All these are synced. I don't have any that are not synced. And I'm gonna click add product. Now, it's gonna go back to the very beginning where I could create a product straight from here. But again, I created in like the product templates area. So I'm just gonna click over here. This is a little bit easier in my opinion. Now I have to find it. There it is over here. I'm gonna click this button and it's gonna ask me for a few more details uh, in terms of colors, which colors I want to offer here on Etsy in particular. And let's say, oh, I don't wanna do this one on Etsy or I don't wanna do this color on Etsy or whatever it is, you could choose that right here. And it already has print files, but you can click here to edit them if you need to go and do that again. Again, I already did this, so I don't need to do any of that stuff. I'm just gonna proceed to mockups. And here's where I can choose what is gonna be sent to Etsy. So I generally like to choose like a lifestyle thing first, as in like a real human wearing these things. So I might choose uh, this lady right here. 
we're in the white one. And then I can do additional mock-ups down here. Like I don't just want that one. I want to do, we'll do some men in there, men's mock-ups. And then maybe just like a wrinkled or on, I don't like the on hanger. I like the hoodie one. So we'll choose that one right there. And of course we could choose one color. I could do white or gray. It looks like, eh, let's do gray. There we go. And let's choose that gray one. Well, let's choose the white one as the mock-up right there. So once you have your mock-ups, you can add more uh, as needed right here. You can click here to scroll over, by the way, and add more like men's lifestyle mock-ups. Right now I have two selected, men's lifestyle and uh, wrinkle. There we go. Proceed to details. And here is the, the fun part. So obviously you're going to want to name this. This will get pushed through to Etsy. And you can actually come on here on Etsy or Shopify or whatever you're using really and update from here. But just know this is also going to push through to there. You can also see it dynamic, not dynamically, it auto populated some of the basic details for this particular product that I designed. Obviously this is gonna be different depending on what product you chose. Size guide, you could choose to add that or not. Um, Imperial versus metric, depending on where you're located in the world, it gives you a little preview of what that size guide is going to look like, which you can turn on and off. You can add tags right here. I'm gonna add blogging, blog, entrepreneurship, online business, this sort of stuff, right? You can always change this later on Etsy or wherever you're listing, again. It's also worth noting that yours might be different than mine right here, because this is Etsy specific. Also, you can change your language, by the way, just so you know. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. It shows you what your shipping costs are going to be. You will also be able to view this on Etsy, I do believe. I'm just gonna click on one of these right here. It should show photos, that's what pushed through. Yeah, all that information is down here again. Uh, it's You can change the price later, of course. We'll get to that in just a second. Oh, shipping, yeah, down here. Just so you know, you'll, you'll always see this stuff later, wherever you're pushing out your product. You can also choose to display free shipping. You could jack the price up to you know include the shipping if you wanted to and display free shipping. Might be pretty cool. And then you proceed to pricing. This is where you can edit your pricing. It's going to show you your perceived or your actual profit, not perceived profit really. So different sizes right here, they cost a little bit different. Retail price, you can just click in here and it will upload on a per item basis, but you can also do this, increase by $3, $4, $5, and it'll do it for all of them right here. Profit, ooh, that's a lot of profit. That's a lot right there. So if you wanted to be 41, 50, that would make you like 15 bucks, a sweatshirt right there. That's actually a lot. That'd be like three or two. Yeah, 38 bucks, 40 bucks, yeah, that's good for me. And you can always change this later. It's important to note. Then you're going to hit submit to store. And depending on what platform you're using, whether it's Etsy or Shopify or whatever, this next step is going to look a little different. So I could tell you right now in Etsy that you will have drafts over here. It's not going to automatically be active. It's actually going to save it as draft over here. And you'll have to go in. This is going to take a few minutes and I'm going to come back when it's actually done uploading. Okay. It looked like it is done. I forgot to change the, the name of the product. So that's fun. You can do a few things from here. You can delete right from here. And I believe that will automatically sync over to your Etsy shop. I'm not sure if it'll make it draft or if it'll delete it. That's actually something you'll need to check based on your platform, Shopify or whatever you use. You can also edit prices. You can duplicate. You can also save this as a template. Like we had, we, we did this one originally as a product template, but you could also save this as a template right here. Uh, you can also click edit and it'll show you the sizes and the colors, the different variants you have right here. Like I'll say I no longer wanted to offer white. Well, I could come in here and select all the white ones and I could hit delete or I could edit the prices just for those. I could edit the prices for different variants. There's a ton of stuff you can do, but that is where you edit. So again, on your third-party store, this is gonna look different depending on what you use, but for Etsy, it just saves it as a draft. So if I come over here and click draft, well, there it is. And you can actually hit publish right from here, or you could come in and edit. You can choose your different photos. You can add more if you wanted to here. You can change the primary photo. You can adjust the thumbnail. Obviously you can add a video. Here's where I can edit all that stuff that I you know, forgot to change, like big blogs hoodie. There you go. And again, categories you can change, size you can change. There's all, all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go through each one of these. It is a physical item. Here is the description, which I also did not update. I would probably add another sentence right there. 
you can do a production partner, but it's not required because you're already you're already kind of pushing this out. You've already synced this. Where an order comes through on Etsy now, it will be pushed through to Printful. If I keep scrolling, obviously here are the prices that I imported automatically. You can change from here. Uh, I'm not gonna change that quantity. These are pushing to Printful, so I don't really have to worry about that. Shipping, it does say down here. Again, all this got pushed through automatically, right, from Printful. And this is exactly what it told me in the creation process. It's gonna cost me like six bucks to ship uh, this way, domestic, excuse me, and so on and so forth. You can change these, you can edit these from here as well. I, I haven't done that ever because I just do it in Printful right here and it pushes through. But there you go. Next up would be to just hit publish. And it's actually giving me an error uh, to publish fix shipping. So it's gotta be somewhere in here. It's telling me I need a little bit more info. So I'm gonna click edit. I probably should have done this in Printful. I think it even asked me, but I did not do it correctly. Delivery time, I'm not super positive about. I could go check Printful to see what they recommend putting here. But I am just gonna put delivery time like 10 business days for now. And maybe I'll come back to this stuff later. So I saved that and then I'm gonna hit publish. And there is a 20 cent fee. This is just an Etsy thing. Depending on what platform you're using, there may not be like a small fee like that. It's just gonna cost me 20 cents to list this, which is pretty much nothing. And then I'm live, that's it, I'm done. So assuming you've set everything up correctly, which is pretty straightforward considering Printful does walk you through almost all the steps. Somebody's gonna purchase on your e com shop and you'll get paid from there. That will automatically be sent to Printful where they're gonna do all the hard work of printing it and shipping it and all that sort of stuff. And they'll actually charge your card for the cost, whatever it is, and that's it. You're pretty much done. Now you just gotta go get people to buy, right? Speaking of which, I'll actually point you to the next video I would love you to watch after you sign up for your free Printful account and you get started on sales funnels. Now you wanna get people onto your shop and onto your email list and all this stuff. Click to go watch that video. I'm gonna walk you through the basics of sales funnels, which is my bread and butter. And that's all I got. Drop me a comment if you have any questions. I love you, blog tribe, blog tribe, blog tribe on YouTube. Hashtag swag. Happy selling on Printful. I love them. I love you. Adios.